It's time, guys. We are gonna play Crusader Kings. This is be fun. I open up a little cool map of Lithuania here. Belarus. This is this will do. Ah, this is okay. I'm trying to find a good pa a good picture of Lithuania. Um, nah, this is good. This is good for perspective. I think, uh, especially Americans don't have any fucking perspective on what Europe looks like. <laughs> so, we'll use this map here. So, let's have some fun here today, guys. We're gonna go into a history time to start us off. We're gonna be playing a little bit of Crusader Kings. So, let's go ahead and start off with that history time. But before we start off on history time, it's important to know that channel your energy OT and bite the bullet and marry your cousin. Uh... This stream is brought to you by Sneak Energy. Bam, bam, bam. Head on over to sneakenergy.com. Use creator code SPARTY at checkout. Help me, help you, help me to grow the channel because I think they're actually going to end my contract in the next month. So head to Sneak Energy. Use creator code SPARTY. Help me. Um, so let's switch on over to the... What's my webcam? What's my webcam? What's going on? Dude, I have, I have had like 50 million fucking... Issues, you know how it's like when when um what's it called decides to update itself. Now Logitech stream can there we go, asshole. Windows is like oh all those things that you had set well we just fucked them all up sorry. Dude my beard is a wild nest, and I'm getting it trimmed today and I can't wait, can't wait. Okay so there's that. Uh, here's CK3. There you go. And we're going to go display capture. There we go. So, here is a map of Lithuania. Is is the music too loud? It, it, I think it's a good it's a good undertone to what we're talking about, right? And Lithuania has a very fun and wild history. Um because when we think of when we think of when we think of medieval powerhouses, we do not think of Lithuania. You, you think of the Holy Roman Empire, you think of France, you think of England, you think of um, Sicily uh, with the, the Empire of Sicily, and you think of uh, the, the Normans. You, you don't think of Lithuania unless you're a fan of history or at least a fan of medieval or Lithuanian history. And the... In Lithuania itself, uh, along with Latvia, Estonia, they are the Baltic people. And I think it's very common, and, I, and I've made this mistake before too when I was talking about the Kievan Rus, um, it, to lump them into the Slavic people. And that's not necessarily very fair. In fact, it's not fair. Um, the Slavic people also differentiate themselves between Western and Eastern Slavs. So... Um, all it's important to note the cultural and significant societal differences between these these peoples. Um, if you look at it in modern time, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, uh, Moldavia, uh, Poland, all this stuff, like um, all these have these very, very rich, crazy cultures that have been meshed across so many different things in their history, right? We've talked about the Pechenegs, we've talked about the Khazaria, we've talked about the Mongolians, how they've all made a big part of this fucking thing, uh, Russian, uh, Slavic, and pretty much Lithuania and eastward, uh, uh, South Slavs. You're right. South Slavs are uh, Dimtiar Dim brought up a really good point. South Slavs identify totally differently, so that's a really good point. Sorry about that. I just I just fucked the point I made by by doing that. But you look at these locations, and Lithuania kind of had the same thing going that Kievan that the Kievan Rus did. And that they became a very big cultural and religious powerhouse during the medieval ages because they allowed for a lot of cultural and religious freedom. Lithuania spanned both the, the Baltic and the Black Sea in the 12th century AD and it allowed for it to become a very strong, I, I say nation, but because it didn't last for so long, it's hard to say that, right? Like, uh, I think it's like 1200s and up until, I'm trying to remember when the Sword Brothers of Livonia started their crusade because that's that's the next episode hello you're lithuanian 
hello to you, sir. And that's a big thing too is what we're going to talk about so far is the early history of Lithuania. It's not necessarily the history of Lithuania. It's the history of the Balts right now. Because Lithuania doesn't become Lithuania until um, 1200 AD under, and I'm going to butcher his name. I'm so sorry for anyone who actually is Lithuanian and knows how to pronounce this. Mindaugas, the actual first quote unquote Roman Catholic king and the person who kind of unifies and creates the kingdom of Lithuania which becomes the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, because after his death, um, there's no king. Um, and it's the, it's the, uh, not the, heard worse. <laughs> um, what, what's important too to note is that Lithuania or the Balts are the last pagan holdout in Europe. Pretty much everyone has converted to Christianity, either as Orthodox or, or as Catholicism, right? One or the other, or the, whatever branch of, branch is not the right term, either Orthodox Christianity or Catholicism within um, Europe, except for Prussia and the Balts. So when we take a look at this, it's it's important to note too that a lot of the history of Estonia, Latvia, Lithu Lithuania, even Prussia um, is, it's not hearsay because that's not, that's not fair, but um, a lot of that history isn't really recorded. Because there wasn't a huge interaction with quote unquote conventional founded nations. Uh, you have the earliest connection with the Romans. And a lot of this, a lot of the, the peoples that inhabit Lithuania, um, this pretty much stay tribal for millennia, for, 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 for thousands and, and thousands of years. I think it's what is, it? I have to look at this, this, this sheet here. Um, like, because it's originally settled in ten, the 10th millennia by the Kunda, Neiman, and Narva cultures. Um, and they're all kind of like, I, when I think of like the cultures that like the, the, the Proto-Indo-European cultures that kind of inhabit Europe, we've talked about this and how Europe kind of gets spread across three predominant cultural groups. The Celts who go ahead and inhabit France, Spain, Portugal, and the UK. And then you get, it's like called like, I, I always uh, mess this one up. It's like Wodish Axe or something. I don't know. Iron Wode or whatever. It's basically um, the Germanics people. We'll just say the Germanic people of Germany, Poland, Czech Republic, this area right here into Denmark, into portions of Sweden, Norway, and Finland. But you have another cultural group that comes down here into Italy, which is eventually, the, which, which is essentially the, the Latins. But the people that kind of inhabit these regions are, they've migrated west from the steppes. That's kind of how things worked into Europe. They migrated up and then west and outward as they as they got horses, as they got and not horses to like uh use as cavalry. Horses were beasts of burden, remember. That's the cav is not a very uh modern convention. Or it is a more recent modern convention. Um so with that being said, Lithuanians or or the Balts for that, I'm gonna say Balts for now on, um, by and large become a pretty untouched peoples for a long time there are there is evidence of them existing in the roman empire the roman empire is represented in purple down here and these are essentially the balts more or less you've got a smattering of other tribes and you have interactions with them um from Roman chroniclers. They, they say, like, you know, in, in Tacitus's Germania, he says, you know, oh, there's there's these people up over here by the sea, and I think they're called, uh, this was an A, Aesti. And it, the Aesti might have been Swedes. They might have been southeastern Balts. It's not really specifically sure, because that's kind of the, that's the thing about a lot of German, or German, <laughs> a lot of Roman chroniclers about the Germanic tribes Obviously, there's a coloring of bias and there's a coloring of a bit of like, well, I kind of don't know what those are. Like, like the trope of like, oh, you people all look the same, like that kind of thing to them. Like they're like, oh, these are barbarians. Uh, those barbarians are from over there. Those barbarians are from over there. Those barbarians are from over there. But they don't they don't know when their geographical tribal lines ended and started. It's more of a pointing in a direction saying those people are different. They're from that direction. And I don't know where that direction is and where it stops and starts and ends. So you do have interaction there with the SD. And the SD are assumed to be southeastern Balts or at least Swedes. So something in the Baltic Sea connecting to the Baltic Sea. Yeah, that's kind of the, the, the overall... Uh, mentioned. Even Ptolemy is known to have interactions with the Galindians, the Yatvinians, 
sorry, Jadvingians, I think, Jadvingians, and early medieval chronicles mentioned Old Prussians, Coronians, and Semigallians. Uh, and Coronians uh, also are a big portion of this as well. So, as you can see, the Balts, by and large, have been, it, it's almost like Georgia. We haven't talked about Georgia because Georgia is a really, really fun um, a really fun culture as well, but the Georgians kind of skated by a lot of contact through the Bronze Age um, and then through into the kind of coming and goings of empires, the Persian, the Roman, um, the well, Alexander the Great's burgeoning empire. Uh, what's this called? I am a ruler. I am... Alexander the Great's general, I have taken over, I now run Babylon, my name is Seleucid Empire, Seleucid Empire. Um, Georgians had a really cool and really unique history because they were able, they were in a very interesting spot in between two massive mountain ranges in the Caucasus Mountains. It's kind of the same thing here where they're kind of um, comings and goings of vampires or empires, yeah, you know, vampires, D -d -d -d. Um, but it's kind of the unique thing here too with... Uh, the Finn, not the Finns, the Balts, and that they kind of just are between two sets of empires that are constantly shifting. You have the Germ, the uh, the Roman Empire, then Germanic tribes that are insulating them, and then that kind of swaps around to the Holy Roman Empire with aggression in and out of the Franks. And you know, how that kind of always is, is kind of smattering and moving around. How the Frankish tribes kind of grow and become France. And by the on the other side of this, you have the um, Slavs. The southern Slavs dealing with the Byzantine Empire. The northern and eastern Slavs, you have them dealing with the kind of burgeoning and outcoming of the Kievan Rus, which are forming around the Balts. The Balts at one point pay tribute to the Kievan Rus in its kind of early formative state. Remember the Kievan Rus, we talked about that. That's the Varangian culture that kind of expands out from Novgorod, comes from uh, Varangian being uh, Norwegian, Swedish, pretty much everyone over in that in that region. Um, until people discovered an oil in the Caucasus Mountains. <laughs> True, John. <laughs> um, so you have pretty much Holy Roman Empire has formed now, and you have the Kievan Rus. And you have in between that, you've got the Balts that are just this, and Poland, of course, is right there, right? You have a big, huge insulation, insulative cap from Poland. And by and large, the Finns kind of go untouched, unnoticed. Finns? Why do I keep saying Finns? The Balts go, by and large, untouched, unnoticed, up until at least the 1200s. And in that time, in the interim period, you, you do get some, some Viking raids. Denmark does raid a lot of, especially like Estonia and stuff like that. And, oh, I... Here, there's this picture, by the way. This is a, a might be a better picture to talk about what we're talking about. But the European Amber Road is why the Romans knew that these cultures existed. Because they would trade on this Amber Road. And this Amber Road would go right into, uh, Rome, right into Rome. And they would go up and down. And so they, they knew about uh, the peoples that inhabit this whole situation. I don't think I have any more on this. Oh, I got one more. But, um, again, in the, like the 9th and 10th, 11th centuries around then, you do have a lot of Viking raids on these coastlines and whatnot because the Vikings were raiding everywhere, right? That's just kind of what they were doing. They were Viking out everywhere. Vikinga. And um, eventually, though, Lithuania actually becomes very strong, very prominent. It becomes an organized military state, or force at least. And it goes from paying tribute to Kievan Rus to making Kievan Rus pay tribute to them, even to the Novgorod Republic, into Ruthenia, they started to really expand out. Lithuania got big, bad, and strong in around that like late, mid to late 12th century. Until we get this, the uh, what becomes the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. This is, at this point, in the late 12th century, this is the Kingdom of Lithuania under, again, Mindaugas. I fuck it up every time. Um, and we're going to go into him next episode and talk about how this then leads into the Teutonic Orders and then the uh, creation of the Sword Brothers of Livonia and basically how this whole region kind of gets beat up and kind of torn apart by these Christian orders. Because remember, a lot of this is pagan up until this point. And then this point, 
we get a conversion of Mindaugas to becoming a Roman Catholic king. Um, and he is the first Roman Catholic king of, I guess, the only Lithuanian Catholic, Roman Catholic king. Um, and this Grand Duchy is extremely strong and extremely important because we talked about how the Kievan Rus were so um, were so strong because the Kievan Rus were able to connect the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea and use all of the river systems, all of the um, all Varangians, Swedes, um, everyone for the most part would come through these river systems and go down into Constantinople and do trade. This is the same thing here for the kingdom or grand duchy of Lithuania. You have all these river systems that allow you to pour out into the Black Sea and to act as a ferry for anything coming down from the Baltic Sea. So not only was this a good, amazing trade hub, but it was amazing uh, religious and cultural hub because it allowed for people to practice whatever they wanted. And militarily, it was badass. I mean, that was next to but when they grew significantly, everyone wanted to be their friend. Yeah, exactly. Like, and this is something that I didn't know about. It wasn't until I peeked into this history that I found out that Lithuania, from the 12, 1200, late 1200s AD to 1500s AD, was, was a force to be reckoned with. And I knew about the Northern Crusade, but I didn't understand how the, what the Northern Crusade truly did. And how the Northern Crusade, which we're going to get into next episode, was about the formation of these of these Teutonic orders. Well, yeah, that's kind of like a, a misnomer, but I will check that tip out in just a second. I couldn't see I couldn't see it, but the you've got the Knights Hospitaller. Um, was it? Oh my God! Let's take a look. Fuck. This is just that just segued off our uh, our history time real quick to to do a quick thank you. So let's take a look at this. Holy shit! What a way to pop off on a Friday, guys. We're doing some history time. We're doing Lithuania. We're playing CK three. Thank you very much for jumping in here. Og three donated one fucking hundred damn dollars. That's the largest donation of the month. Largest donation of the day. It is a bomb. History time, my favorite time. Thank you, dude, so much, man. That's so fucking, that's so generous, dude. That is so generous. Prime rib, dude, I haven't had prime rib forever. Thank you so, so much, man. So, so much. We're definitely, we're definitely naming a child after you. You king of kings. Are you Lithuanian? Did I fuck up your, did I fuck up your history too? I'm so sorry if I did. I'm trying to do it the best I can. It's actually, I was surprised at how hard it is to find reliable information about Lithuania. Let alone Livonia, which is what a duchy I want to I want to focus on in this playthrough, and that's a big thing too. Is Lithuanian language, Livonian language, Estonian language, all of it? It's kind of like yeah, I, I'm American. <laughs> and ought three, ought three. Oh, okay, ought three. Oh, okay, Firefly. What's up, man? Thank you very much, dude. Thank you again, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Were you in the military by chance? Um, Roman has Roman has anti diarrhea kibble right now, little buddy. Um, but Lithuanian language, and and someone from Lithuan Lithuania, uh, Mister Hexus, Hexus, you can probably correct me on this. If they were to go back in time and, and to twelve hundreds AD, I don't think that they would be able to could to communicate very well because Lithuanian language has changed a lot. L Livonian language is spoken by like 80 people. I, I, it's, it's, I think it's like a hundred or, or 200 people. Like they're like Livonian language. The last native Livonian speaker is dead. They died in like 2016 or 2017, something like that. Um, so a lot of the languages of this area are being completely kind of skewed away because there was so much migration from, Germans during a certain period of time, which we'll get into. I've gotten so far ahead of myself in this episode that I wanted to, but um, still, the the history of Lithuania is actually far crazier than I thought it was, and it, it pulls into the um, Polish Lithuanian, Poland Lithuanian Commonwealth and stuff like that. Um, but we will get there when we get there. But that is our history for today. Thank you guys very much for watching the history time. Now let's get into some game time. Let's press some buttons. Boop. 
boop, boop, boop. There we go. So we don't play as any, and I, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know who this guy is. I, and I, I, I told myself, look, at, look into this character and figure it out. Wasn't there a very hard? Was it a short history? That was a 30 minute history, Pagan. I gotta say, uh, I, I wanted to go into the Northern Crusade and talk about it right now, but it's such, there, dude, there's so much from the Northern Crusades that I didn't want to go into it right now because it's like, I would, oh, for you, it's like, if, if I went into the, the Northern Crusades right now, we'd cut into the stream time significantly because I have a hard stop at 1 p.m. I got to go get my beard trimmed like a fucking goblin. Um, was it really 18 minutes? Oh, God. Um, but the Northern Crusades is such a huge part of this area's history that it deserves like a whole dedicated portion of the history time. So we're going to wait for that. Interestingly enough, the Grand Principality of Polotsk becomes a big portion of that too. Pedro, thank you very much, man. 50 Argentinian ruble doubles. Is that what that is? Vassal's tax. Thank you, my brother. Goblin Kratos, dude. I am Goblin Kratos right now, bro. So what do we want to do? I think we do intrigue. Um, we don't typically do intrigue characters, but I think we do intrigue today. Um, he is a terrible character. Oh my god. Well, he's not... Yeah, no, he's terrible. He's got shy. This guy is absolutely miserable. As someone else is going to be training my son... And we won't min max too hard with stuff like, dude. My wife, even my wife, is shy. Yes, anyone who wants to pick up the uh, DLC, Friends and Foes DLC, you can go ahead and find it right here. You can also pre-order Victoria Three if you want to. I'm going to be doing tons of content for Victoria Three, guys. So don't worry about it. So we have the Friends and Foes uh, DLC activated. And we're gonna see how this all goes. I have not I've not even booted it up to see how it plays. So we're gonna figure it out together. Oh, it could be a lot worse. You're not wrong. Dude, look at this. I'm 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 deep in the balls of torturer. I think we go into Skullduggery. I mean Let's just do that. Let's have some fun with intrigue. We don't typically do intrigue stuff. And I think we could probably do some cool things with it. Oh my god, that guy's horrible looking. Uh, some of my mods not might not be working right now. Me too, Timeless Chronicles. Thank you very much, guys, for showing back up today. I know we were supposed to stream yesterday. My upload was like sub one megabyte. I've never played Vicky 2 as well, Michael Pal uh, Palinkas, but... Vicky 3 looks like it's going to be amazing. I'm excited for it. It's a very fun time in history to talk about. So there'll be a shit ton of history times. What I want what I would like them to do though are are historical bookmarks that are later in the year, that are later in the medieval times so that I can give you guys like okay, like we've talked about a lot of the formations, and we've really more talked about antiquity with a lot of these history times. I want to go into, okay, it's 1300 AD. Let's talk about some crazy shit going on right now, right? Like, let's talk about the final, like, uh, this the siege of Constantinople is about to fall. It's been around forever. Uh, Ottoman Empire, blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is. Like, I want to get into some mid to late medieval stuff. 1066 is, is, is like, is fun, but it's kind of like... Also, pretty limited. Yeah, I was gonna say 100 years war, stuff like that. I don't know why we're stuttering. The game is kind of choppy right now, but hopefully it's not uh, hard for you guys to watch. So, uh, another reason, the big thing I wanted to focus on was doing this. Terra Mariana. So that we can, we can get the Kingdom of Livonia, which is so cool. Look at that coat of arms and everything. So the kingdom would encompass the duchy, the high chiefdom, and the duchy. 
So I want the Kingdom of Livonia, which then gives us long ships. We, we then need to get Estonia on our own. The goal of this campaign will be to simply create the Baltic Empire. I say simply, it's not simple. Um, it'll be challenging because you have a lot of different things to deal with. You have Vizilist, then you've got Slovakian Prada, then you have got more Slovakianism, and then you're going to start butting into Catholicism to make this... Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I guess not. So we're pretty much taking all this and making it part of our empire. But Poland will be pushing into Pomerania. Uh, Pomerania and Prussia will be fighting each other. Prussia will be expanding out. So it'll be a challenge. The nice thing, though, is we're going to stay as pagan. I want to see if we can do that. Um, and we start with a lot of this stuff all in our region. So it will be... Um, easy to at least get these holy sites secured. Um, but culturally, two of the things I was debating are, do I start as Prussian or do I start as Lithuanian? Lithuanians are bellicose, which I find to be a little bit easier, especially because we are a tribal government right now. We're going to probably stay tribal for some time, but we get forest wardens here so we can recruit these dudes. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that fucking name. Forest line of building, add additional bonuses, gain a decision to recruit forest commanders, which is really, really, really nice. Forest fighter commander trait is more common. So this is the forest fighter one. So just advantages in forest and taiga, which I believe is a large part of this. Forest. This is all forest. All this is forest. And then this is taiga. So it's really good. Strong believers is great because you get the zealous trait and the humble trait. Um, humble is just really nice for all of your vassals. Uh, but characters are less likely to accept conversion and county conversion resistance is increased by 30%. Sacred groves gain piety when completing buildings and holdings with either forest or taiga terrain. Guess what? That's going to be almost all of it. Um, so it's a, it's, I find this to be a really, really nice culture for our objective. Prussia is good though. I mean, they're bureaucratic. So monthly lifestyle experience gain, cultural fascination progress, development growth. So those are all great things. But I think if you're playing Prussia, your goal is to go feudal. Uh, equitable, so just and honest. Two great traits too. Uh, charismatic children tend to be better with diplomacy education. Children are more likely to get the charming trait. Forest wardens, we already talked about that. And then sacred growth, we already talked about. <laughs> Uh, we, I, Bundy, I've never done, I've not done any of this. This is, a, this is a first time I've played Baltic culture in this game. Okay. So let's take a look at our, ooh, fuck. Dude, this is not going to be fun. Oh, oh, it's going to be fun. Oh my God, nothing, no one's good. No one's good. The history person, what's up, man? Metzan Vartia, that's how I pronounce it. I, pr I promise I'll butcher it more. Good lord, dude. Uh, and she is... Just just help me with education. That's all you gotta do, lady. Who's the head of this faith? Our culture? This bad boy, okay. Dude, he is... He's girthy. Can't find a link to the DLC on our Nexus page? Me either. All right, let me ask them. On when we'll have the friends and foes DLC on Nexus. Came out yesterday. Just ask, we'll find out the answer there for you, man. Yeah, I, I'm going to, I just was like, man, look at this, like there's He is just there. Wow. Yes. Like, that is rough. That's the same amount. I've only begun. Hey, Eli donating $35 as well, but imagine how good it'll feel when the whole court isn't expendable. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. You guys have been so generous today. I was really bummed I didn't stream yesterday. I want to stream tomorrow, but it's my parents' anniversary, so I'm going back home. So we'll be streaming on Sunday. And we'll be continuing the stream. Uh, and again, I do have a hard stop here. I say hard stop. I'm back in corporate America. Oh my god! In an hour and a half, because I have a, a beard trimming appointment, which fucking pisses me off. I I was so I was so jacked to stream for like four and a half hours yesterday. Unified Baltic culture, absolutely, Bundy. 
Um, Nivik, last time we did an 867 start, and I actually kind of don't like 867, to be totally honest with you. But to be fair, 867 is truly more interesting, or at least easier, if you are a tribal government. Um, because, look at this. Let's go ahead and just click Polsk. That's a level 4 fort. That's not going to be easy to take out. So... That was, those things are kind of important to take a look at. Let's gonna we're gonna create some onagers. I'm gonna create two sets of them. And what are, are these guys? The special dudes? Cool, they are. Let's get a court physician. Is anyone good at it? No, of course not. Why would that be a thing? Search for one. Could do that. We're going to invite champions. See what we find. I don't think there's even anyone in our court worth... I guess. Competent schemer? She's a competent schemer, alright. I don't think she can be on the council, though. Yeah, that, that's another big thing too, Nivek. I wanted to see how the how the uh, crusades actually go out. It doesn't. We don't even need to be part of it. I just want to see it. No, Guinness. Okay, well, that's good. I've got some siblings here we can marry off for some diplomacy. Okay, so I can get an early alliance with him. <laughs> Enrak, you're not wrong, my bro. Okay, so if I'm the duchy, that's over there. I think we just kind of grab that. You constantly keep them on improving development or capital or collecting taxes. Taxes, but most recently, I've been doing that as it pays dividends. John Frederick, it depends on what point in the campaign. Like right now. Definitely going and collect taxes. But as soon as I just get a little bit more of a foothold in the campaign, I pivot to increased development for sure. Um, okay, I need to... My child... I don't even know what my child's going to be, so we're, we're going to see what he wants to be. Okay, we're going to find you a spouse. I don't... Russia, huh? Not much, Billy Chops. We're just pretty much settling in on what we're what we're gonna do here. Let's go Alliance Power. I, you know, I don't I don't want to ally with them. But maybe we do. And we just take over uh, Coronia. the hell hairstyle is that, man? And as always, guys, feel like you have ownership of this campaign. Make recommendations. Play. Tell me how, however you want to see whatever you want to do. That is important to me. I want you guys to feel like you are also playing. So yeah, we could ally with them. They're much stronger than us. So maybe we just go with that quick alliance. To shut them off as an impossible aggressor. Um, because they've got 2,300. We only have 1,400. Um, our first act would probably be a war here to take over Jersica. We can ally Prussia. And the reason I didn't think to ally Prussia was... Um, I have to... Uh, one. I can negotiate this alliance ally Prussia, and start a war with Sam, Sam, uh, Sam of Dim Dim Let me see. Conquer. I can't do a conquer dungeon. What were my, what were my claims? Yeah, I can do that. And that would, that would connect my land to my, to my ally. Because <laughs> tonight will be the night that I fall for you. <laughs> Gage, that was so, that was, that was clever, dude.
So what do you guys think? Do we fight Samogitia? Do we ally Samogitia and just go north? Because basically what, I was, what I'm saying here is negotiate alliance with him, uh, go to war with him, and go for Latvia. Okay. I mean, that's my Lithuanian kingdom. Yeah, we're just starting this. Yeah. So about, this is our goal. Creating that empire. That's a really cool crest, too. Look at that thing, dude. Black and white. Can't wait for the Kingdom of Livonia, too. It's going to be sick. Which will be pretty much like this. Thanks, Rebel. I appreciate that, man. Okay, so let's go with the ally with him then. Uh, okay, ally. Go with him. That, like I was saying, the big reason I wanted to ally Prussia was to ally these, keep these two as my allies, and just take over this to unite the bit that basically take that out, so that it connects my land. Because this is that's part of my duchy. We, you always want to create your duchy, right? Oh, uh, you were being sarcastic. How was I supposed to know, Rebel? How was I supposed to know, dude? How dare you? How dare you? It's my birthday. Not my birthday. It's definitely not my birthday. I can wait for this to fall apart. This guy's ill. And that guy's strong, too. Yeah, man. I'm actually around some pretty fucking jacked dudes. We only a court tutor too. Do I need? Do I have actually a good one? And, oh god, of course, of course, fucking everyone average. Okay. Mm, well, I think we're gonna. That's a fun symbol. Ah, right, negotiate this alliance. Really, it's gonna give me stress. I'm shy. I, I, I'm shy. And now we'll just do that. And we will. Hey! Why will they be born to that house regardless? I mean, if I can do a matrilineal marriage, sure. Oh, because it's my cousin. Won't matter then. I actually don't know how that works. I don't know how this works if if it's my sister to my cousin. I don't know how that works matrilineally. Because it's the same house. I, I think it just it's a wash, right? Does CK3 have a northern event like in 2? Rebel, I think you can create one, but not by the game's natural standards. That's probably going to be... Uh, camp, it's probably going to be event flavor pack 55. Oh, he has a claim on me, too. Oh, she does. Never mind. Well, Californians never, they never know how marrying their cousin. Right? Okay, so that's going to go through. Not sure, Grablor. I'm not sure. I don't know what I press, to be honest. So we've got that alliance. We've got that alliance. So we've got a lot of protection now. So I think we do this quick little war. Just conquer that county. We're both shy. Who'd have thunk? Oops, wrong button, but it worked. Hey, that's a pretty good of... Oh, fuck. I 
going to go into debt for her. Or look at this dwarf. Nope. Maybe... You know, I should have done is this. Should have done the old routine. There's like no one good. Look at that. Oops, no, I said all. Not all. There we go. That that's different. I'm like, man, there's like no one. Oh, scholars, okay. Character that I can marry. I don't have. I don't have any female characters. So we go back to this. So we have to look for a female. Ooh, a witch. Those are fun. I don't care if she's wheezing. What's up, Solomon? Because she's uh, botulism or whatever. Conian Norse. I mean, this one might actually go through. She's inspired. She's a book inspired. Leek could be a good one. She's so silly. Giant strategist. Pretty much, I'd have to look for anyone who's not. Okay, I would. I would love to just search for not like, not a Christian faith or an Abrahamic faith, because they they just won't. They won't allow it. No, thank you. No fucking thank you, sir. Eva here is pretty good. Yeah, I could search for a physician, but... I mean, th th this is the outcome right there. She's 50 gold to recruit. Nope. I... For John, I actually don't... I have nothing... I have no idea about it. I wasn't given any early access. So... I'm coming into this all pretty blind with you guys. We're figuring it out together. No one no one here is going to want that. Physician. Ugh. Yeah, these are rough. Yeah, no one... This one might work. Oh, God. Nope. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to have to go with her. She costs 50 gold, though, is the problem. I don't have that money. Do we go into debt? I mean, it's 25 gold to do it.
This will tell me right now. Uh, Nivek, uh, we're, we're, we're all playing it together for the first time. Raiding this is going to give me 15 loot, which isn't bad. Then we go raid Polotsk or something. It's 20. Yeah, I mean, we can go raid. Whatever. We'll do it. We'll get weird. More gold. Of course I do. Owner is one year in debt. Damn. Oh, that's a quick slash and burn on this guy. Do we raid it and then siege it? I've never known this. Perfect. Okay. For the third night in a row, I'm sitting at the same table at the same inn. It has an excellent view of the bar and the captivating barmaid behind it. My daydream is interrupted when my brother, Pocleus, slams his tanker down on the table. I have seen you gawking at Lima all night, he whispers with a wise smile. I do not blame you. She is a fair woman. Do you want me to make introductions to you? Ooh. Mmm. becomes my friend though okay so this is our first little sampling here of this so there it is friend this is your friend while visiting a tavern introduced you and very attractive lima okay oh i know she's sterile we can't really do my can't do much with that uh turned down more advances than i can i can count but thanks to P Pocleus's introduction introduction and relaxed demeanor she soon opens up the conversation flows smoothly i did not expect to have so much in common with the barmaid i only realized Pocleus has left when lamia uh, lima puts her hand on my arm and asks if you want a room for the night a room for two judging by the look in her eye show me the way uh well uh, my character has got intrigue oh that, look at that, dude. Unattainable. I'm flattered, but I just wanted to talk. <laughs> character such a Charles, such a Chuck, such a Chad. Just being all aloof about it. Knocking boots, taking names. Um. Okay. We might need to restart or something. Okay, maybe not. I was like, why is every character shy? Every character is shy. Okay, okay. It was just a coincidence. I was like, Jesus Christ, every character is shy. It must be a bug from one of the outdated mods I have on right now. Okay, um... Let me get unattainable. It kind of sounds fun. This guy is this aloof dickhead. This guy is over here raiding me. What a shithead. Can't do it. I was going to, oh, let's just station this besieger. I don't have anyone with the siege trait. I have got no good knights. Good. Good. I'm going to go get him. Oh. Ho, ho.
Damn, where'd they go? They squeezed off out of nowhere. Into no oh, they went home. That's where they're from. Oh, well, I'm just gonna raid back into you. Oh, I can't raid them. Okay, well, we have to... Ah, uh, disband. Okay, we'll disband. Um, oh, shit, I should not have done that. Because you can't raise army when you're in debt, can you? Whoever, that's a really good thing. I didn't even think about that, man. Uh, what whoever said was, you should have ransomed the chieftain for the free gold war score would remain at 100% because he's one tile. No. Okay. Go back here and raid the shit out of that. How did you miss this, DC? How fucking dare you, man? So we have a really, lot of pretty good knights here that we want to bring in. These guys are really great. But 16 gold, 3 gold, 6 gold. We'll get there. Viable holy metal stops him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Not we're gonna get caught. Oh, uh, yeah. Bossy. Uh oh. <gasps> My steward. My brother, no less. What's the nice thing, though, I, what I like about raiding is, like, oh, well, I'm not at war now. Like, I mean, we just have like hostilities. Oh god, then they made a fucking another raiding army? Sons of bitches. Well. Our raiders are back. Let's go raid something. We need some quick money. Three, fifteen. Ugh, oh, god damn it. I think he's better off there, and I'll put a different spy master in. Yeah, Mama, be a spy master. <laughs> My court is just in shambles. Um, sway you. I need something to raid. Really? You have your Alexa set to like let you know if I'm I'm uh I'm streaming. That's sick. Like I said, guys, we need I I there needs to be an overlay where I can just see at a glance what everything is like. How much it like? Oh, okay. What, what what's the raid value of all this stuff? Like instead of me just having to select him. Okay, that's four. It's 21. Like, I might be able to squeeze in a, a quick, like, Novgorod one. Well, no, no one's at war. You can click on the raiders, but again, it's just you're hovering over to find it out. I wanted to go raid them back, and instead I got my ass handed to me. It's okay. I think we just disband this army for now. Yeah, we don't have long ships though. Son of a bitch. I don't think there's any good alliances for you, my dude. 
I'm gonna... I don't have good alliances, so... This is my brother. My other brother died. Like, man, that was fucked up. But this could bring in a really good spy master. Yeah, we do get longitudes if we create the kingdom. Correct. He's 37. Bye, Master. Fuck off, Mom. So we need a new steward. We have no females to marry that steward. He wants to be bossy, so we'll make him marshal. Not gonna be me, that's for sure. Oh, he's feeling his fingers like, mm, mm. That's all right. She doesn't like me, but we'll get there. Um, anyone have good learning? No. Do we have any gene? I mean, there's no. It's not worth being me, really, is it? Well, I guess maybe we do. We could do me. He's just not going to come out like a like a like a like a juggernaut. I've got no learning. I can't adjust his stats for stress, but I'm shy. No matter what I do, I'm going to get stressed. Um, well, maybe we'll do it. We'll do it so that way we can because he's not like a remarkable child. Um, we'll do it to see what kind of uh, kid we get. The real question is. I'm 44. Oh my god. Uh, but there's new events, so let's take a look at what those events are like. It's probably that'll be a little more fun. Dude, all these are pretty jacked. <sighs> What's the pressure like? 1400, and we're 1200. I mean, I could do that. I was thinking about that, but I'm 44. I'm probably gonna die soon. Well, that's actually not true at all. Let me just fucking murder my wife. <gasps> Do we murder my wife? Is that what's going to happen right now? I put it to a vote. Do we murder my wife? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could just divorce her, sure. Couldn't you just divorce her? <laughs> or I could kill her. <laughs> Uh, actually, I can't because I don't have enough uh, piety. I have nothing. I am a pauper in pauper's clothes. Then murder we shall do. DC with the 20... God, you guys are so... Uh... King Charles III sends his support. Damn, man. Thank you very much, man. Dude, nerf my age. It was, man. I was like, yeah, fucking kill me. Thank you very much, DC. I appreciate that, my brother. I like how you said, like, like you know, like, obviously, we, we know what's happened. We know what's happened yesterday in the state of things, in the, uh, depending on where you are in the UK. But I'm surprised, DC, as a Scot, you would say, a little sad here. I, I thought you'd be like, this is our time. Split it up. <laughs> Ireland, Scotland, <laughs> and Britain. Have it be done. That was a bad joke, probably. Probably in bad taste. I'm sorry. The scheme has started. But thank you very much, DC. I very much appreciate that, my dude. Oh, English living in Scotland. Okay, well, sorry. 
you know that that I will say that is kind of something I, I've I found very interesting as an American. I have some American friends that are like, I need to process what just happened. I'm like, why? Like, I don't think that the British monarchy is has particular weight or importance to um, many Americans that are not that 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 don't come from English families. Like, if you're like, yeah, you know, my dad's Brit, my dad's British, and this hit him hard. Cool. But if you're like, yeah, you know, I'm 17th generation American, like. Why did this hit you hard again? And that, that's maybe just me. That's me because I live in Southern California where almost any time someone says they have a problem with something, I'm like, are you just projecting or do you actually have a problem with that? Ooh, whoever, that sounds rough, dude. Passion eggs, oof. Okay, uh, let's speed this back up. Yeah, I'm not sure where to go now. I kind of got, we kind of, we're just letting our, our, our levees kind of recoup. Also guillotine. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like how I'm like, ah, we're going to die. <laughs> Gage. Um, I'm like, ah, I'm going to die soon. And I'm like, ah, I'm 44. Maybe I won't really die soon. My immortal body. I'm like, kill, I, I should just type in kill me. <laughs> You see, you know, the weather, my lord, do no more than what is necessary. It's too late for caution. Like, I love that, like, you seem to just be a little sick. Uh, I have some simple remedies. Cut my arm off. But, sir, a simple tonic. I said chop my fucking arm off. <laughs> do no more than what is necessary. I feel a little bit brighter. Excellent work, Evalda. That's why I spent 50 golden doubloons on you. It's funny, the guy that I allied with is the one I could probably raid the best. And my wife knew I was going to murder her. Murder. Murder her. Not going to do that this now. No. Uh -uh. Not doing it. See, the problem, too, is we are in uh, 1066, so raiding is not that fun. Horribly disfigured me, but that kind of sounds fun, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so I think we can do another raid. I'm gonna try it out. The problem is we need we need soldiers. Twelve hundred. Uh, we need uh, knights. Is what I was gonna say. Yeah, this is definitely going to be rough. But I, I kind of wanted it to be rough, Tom. I, I, I feel like we played a lot of the ones we played last couple times have been like, dude, the Fran the Frankish Empire we made in 867 was was girthy. Was and we didn't we did it so fast. We played uh, Zaragoza and we got so big so quick. I feel like this is going to be a slower burn. You are correct, DC. With the Northern Crusade. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think we're all good with our levies now. Because Estonia is... They've got, they've got troops. You can declare wars. Oh, let's just do this one. Easy. Done. Cool. What? Wow, we could really actually... The evening meal. How do you like the stew, my lord? Mixed in the pieces of vegetable are fatty chunks of meat. The stringy texture interrupted interrupted with what looks to be short and sparse fur. When asked what the, what the ingredients, my cook, Jinter, only smiles and tries to placate me. My only wish is to serve you, my lord. What's up, Flesson? How you doing, dude? What the fuck is this? Who is this? Who, who is this bitch? green Let's see if I did it dude that's nice though I could actually do a lot of these wars because of my girthy dude just go to town on them timeless chronicles with a $10 donation well here's a tip for well just because and I can't come up with anything witty <laughs> 
Well, thank you very much, either way, man. I very much appreciate it, brother. <laughs> Didn't need to come up with anything, Woody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. The mystery will not me. The secret is people. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the donation. He's like our only chancellor. I, I, I have no one possible to make a chancellor. So we need to go do a raid. And we need to do this raid so we can get money so we can hire these people. Uh, the knights. And the knights, they don't care what they are. They're going to be my chancellors. Or my, one of them's going to be a chancellor. Okay, a little control. Yeah, 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 And you guys are going to go start raiding. So just let's just take a look at Livonia. Eh, they kind of beat up a little bit. 1800. Well, Riga is right there. We need to go far for it. 19. 19. Ooh. That's a one-two punch right in the D-I-C-K. <sighs> I think we do 13. I mean, Estonia is an easier target. It's a little bit further away. We get 15, 3, 19. I'd rather do 15, 19, and 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's happening. Oh, no, 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 land here, land here. D disembark all on my face. Come to me, Sprinkle Sprite. Has managed to maim the enemy champion, Chieftain Rahal. Oh, get maimed, dude. It's not me, right? Okay. It's my brother who's gonna die, probably. Your brother died in combat after a victorious victory. Ah, we feel good again. So we'll go here, we'll raid this. And we should be good to get a meal to die for. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired and the duck was gifted. The high chief does Kayla alone. It will be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs. Will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Bone ape tits, Gala. What could I have said that's worse? It must have been something she ate. A food, perhaps. <laughs> yes, it's time to remarry. <laughs> I'm drunk with power. Oh man, we have so many. We have so many options. We have so many options now. <laughs> yes, yes, the goblins. <laughs> It gives it to me, precious. I'm a shy, stubborn, wrathful asshole. This is not going to go well. Um, I think we look for intelligent. None. Okay. Look for a genius. None. Okay. Let's just go for quick. Let's just go for quick. Just something, something bare bones here. Just went in and said, I, do I murder my wife? Obviously, I clicked yes. McAven Price, thank you very much, man. Very much appreciated, dude. Nothing like coming in the midst of a murder. Do we go with quick, though? I think quick is kind of what we want to do, right? Let me blow my nose real quick. Hold on. Thank you for the donation.
everything is an improvement. <laughs> okay, um... Oh my god, how does she have zero learning? Okay. Oh, she's chased. What the fuck, man? Patient, fickle, and arbitrary. But she's lisp. She's stuttering. But she's stuttering, man. Samar, Samar is great, but she's got stuttering. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just breed stuttering children. Lazy, impatient, and honest. I mean, she doesn't need any learning, to, truly. What do I care? She could infect my kid with stuttering. <laughs> Chaste doesn't mean they won't have kids. It just means their fertility is minus 25%. So... DC, are you saying, oh my god, of what I said? <laughs> By the way, if anyone has a stutter, I'm sorry. I, I deliberately said it like that <laughs> for, the content, for, the, for the pretense of the game. <laughs> I admit that would my, not be my strongest way of wording that. <laughs> Good call. Maybe, maybe we do go with Gurkhas here. I mean, she's chased. It's either Gurkhas or Irv. What do you guys think? Do we murder my wife? I mean, I, my one of my old roommates, he was... He stuttered. Uh, I, maybe he had more of a stammer. And he was super self-conscious of it. So if anyone has a stutter and I made a joke right there and it upset you, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's kind of why I was looking at Gurkhas here. Oh, Illuminate, I, I totally agree. But to not have any kids is not fun. Yeah, maybe we just, I, I, let's roll the dice. Let's see how Chase goes. We already have one kid, so we're guaranteed something at least. Um, I say we go into Court of Shadows, yeah. Fabricate that fucking hook, man. Where is my stuff? Okay, okay, we're good over here. Did you start reading? Did you already read this? No. Oh, are we all fold up? No. Nope. What's what's the problem here? Read it. No. Why isn't that being rated? Yes, good, and it came good. Does anyone know why that's not ready? Am I dumb? I mean, well, yeah, that's a given. I'm a dumb ass. No truce. I mean, I just just beat the crap out of him in a war, or a little fi a little uh, fisticuffs, but. Like I just raided these two locations. I should be able. I should be fine. Okay, we'll go right back into it. Try that. Well, let's bring this back first. It comes from nowhere, hitting me clean in the temple. I didn't even see the projectile coming, much less try to dodge, and for the moment I stagger blinded. And for a moment I stagger blinded. A sharp peal of giggle wriggles out behind me, and I whirl. Skirmantus rises from his hiding spot, another snowball already clutched in his vicious little hand. Good shot. Come here, little rascal. Use my just toss my balls till your fingertips freeze. Okay. Oh no, you got me. I'm gonna pelt you the hearts you spend. No. Uh, you think you can face me in, s in a snow war? You successfully beat the child. 
So no matter what, I'm busy screaming, just go bother someone else. No, man, good shot. Come here, little rascal. You warned me? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we made that back. Okay, so that's done. Let me go back here and try to raid that now. Yeah, that's weird. When did you inform you that your feudal evidence that the veil proving that your marriage with High Teacher's Gurkhas is, con is consanguineous in nature? This information will stay behind the two of us if you end this unholy union at once. How to deal with that? I know. I, I know exactly how to deal with that. This is going to give me stress because I'm I'm shy. I can't recruit people because I'm shy. Screw it. If I break, I break. <sighs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to break. I, I need these courtiers. And we'll do something about it after that. Sons of bitches. That guy's being killed. I, you do that, you have a hook on me, you're, you're out. You're done. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're done. You're done. You're dead. You're dead. You're done. You're done and you're dead. And you're done. But you're also dead. And you're done. You're done. You're dead. You're dead. You're done. You're not coming back. You're dead. Goodbye. You're dead. You're done. Maybe I'll go insane. That wouldn't be bad. It'd be fun, actually. Okay, uh, up to this 15. Raid that. Ooh, we gotta get the 23. We gotta get the big daddy. Oh, well. Getting the trade drunkard. I don't know if I could just do that. Could become a reclusive. But those aren't fun traits either. I think this is my duty after all. Oh god, that might actually push me to the next one. It's gonna get me pretty damn close. Oh, good, good. Yeah, we can. Good eye on that stretch of the law. This guy's actually really good. He's a huge giant of a man. Uh, do we do with any of these? Uh, I, have you guys had any any luck or experience sticking with reclusive or drunkard, or just go for uh, uh, this is my duty after all? Tonic sheep, what's up, man? Evan Walker, are your mods on or off? I don't necessarily want to speed up my passing. Being an entry character is fun enough. I'm shy and reclusive, though. Diplomacy's just gonna plummet. No, I don't really care. We don't have much kind of attached to him. That's not. That's a good point, Illuminati. It does have a little bit of a learning curve for Earthen, but you can actually break through it pretty quick. 
Thriving Chaos perk. Ooh, what's that? I've never done that. I've actually never done a high stress playthrough. I always get stressed when I'm high stress. I'm like, no, no, we gotta, we gotta bring that down. <laughs> Should we try the whole Thriving Chaos in there? That could be fun. I've never done that. Is that, is that when you just kind of do stats for each level? Isn't isn't that part of my torture thing, though? Yeah, Thriving and Chaos. Oh, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go hard with that. Let's just go deep in the balls of Chaos. All right, let's gonna, uh, keep playing uh, this intriguing game called Crusader Kings. Court Tutor, well, Ivalda will be the Court Tutor now, as well. Look at this piece of shit. We should find people to... We'll do some... We'll do some marriage simulator after we raid this. Okay, and here. Good. Oh! <laughs> Who's got your nose? I got your nose. I mean, uh, we'll be fine there. He's not going to raid that. Ransom the child. Give him to me. You need more money. Oh, attacking High Chieftain of Estonia. No wonder he's nowhere to be found. And he's got a Peasant Uprising. Peasant Uprising, remember, they're way more dangerous now. Way more dangerous. Never been to Scotland. Give us quite a bit there. Good, good. Hudenikin, good. We'll do this now. Just gonna get the quick money, even though, well, we could just hold off on that. It's not his primary heir. Yeah, we'll just do it now. Because he might start running into money issues. Um, better AI, but they also... Uh, Drinking Duck Dexter. So the way the um, uprisings work, you have... Um, your vassals can join, pop, join populist uprisings, and they get men-at-arms. So the populists can actually be really, really terrifying. Ah, oh, 50 gold too. Very lovely. Okay, so let's see here. How do we expand, my bros? Uh, we can go to war with Livonia and actually really win. And Estonia. So I'm kind of thinking, my bros, my brews, my brohas or rojas. We would need this, this, and that. Declare war for the duchy. We need more... Need to be illustrious? Ugh, can't do that. What's up, Pro Yeti? How you doing, dude? Oh man, conquering single counties is so fucking boring. Go on a hunt. Go on a hunt master before we do so, though. Can we even do that? I think we have to be a king. Yeah, we have to be a king. If you go conquer the duchy with the uprising. I don't... Well, we can't do a, we can't do a duchy conquer, unfortunately. That's problem numero uno. Oh, county. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could do that. County. Can I just wait? We can just let me. We can just do this. I just hate taking apart things in county by county. What is he doing a war for? 
the chiefdom of you. Ah, that's what I wanted to go for. Is Uganda right here? Can't usurp this title from him. Uh, we, we were definitely getting um, honor from it, or uh, prestige from it, but it would take quite a bit. See? SE, this is my full-time job. So people... <laughs> so anytime anyone makes a donation, I'm like, I fucking feel it in my balls, let me tell you that. Like the guy... Um, uh, what's his name? Ot3? Ot3? Ot30? Hot three, who made the hundred dollar donation? I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh my plums. <laughs> I used to be, I used to be a VP of sales in the uh, high tech industry, and I did sale corporate sales for ten years, and I hated everything about it. I made a lot of money, but I was fucking miserable. So I now do this. And the whole point of this was join, to join the um, was to join the, the the video game industry, and I still kind of plan on doing that. I think realistically, unless I became like a spiffing Brit or something like that, um, maybe not spiffing Brit. I, I don't think you need to be spiffing Brit size to be quote unquote successful. On uh, how old am I? How old do you think I am, Raymar? How old is everyone? Type in chat. What do you What do you think my age is? And I'll tell you exactly what my age is and what I'm turning. Um, you don't have to be a like a mega YouTube channel to make it on YouTube. You just have to a live within your means and b you have to be able to. Um, and if you know my age, don't fucking type it. Um, you just have to like like I I make a like half of what I make. Um, 53. You know, I love when people say 27, 29, 29. Ah. Uh, a lot of people think I'm in my 20s, which I love. I act like I'm in my 20s. I'm a big old fucking shithead. I'm 34. I turned 35 in, in December. I have a jovial, sunny disposition that allows any actual stress to kind of slough off of me. I lived a I lived a very interesting thirty four years. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Seventy five fame. You know what? Maybe we do do this. That guy is a great. And it's a shit combatant, though. Oh, my stomach. Oh, my stomach. Oh. Oh. Remember that hook you had on me? Enjoy that hook. Mmm. <laughs> The woods truly is the mantle of the poor, but as the stag flees in panic from the foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be better things to do in Gardenius, Gardenius, uh, than picking roots and mushrooms. No, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry, Raymar. Um, guards, drive the rabble out of my hunting grounds. Sorry, but I need that. Oh, <laughs> oh, that actually doesn't give you fame. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, you died, you fucking idiot. And now we got this guy. You know what, maybe we put Evalde there. She's not the, the best. But she'll endorse me. She's not terrible. Done. My niece has been taken prisoner. 
Prussia? Why didn't you call me to war? Oh, it's a raid, I see. Um, Illuminati, I actually do like that. I, I kind of want to do some stuff like that. But I don't have any characters to do that with. We'll see what happens with this pregnancy. Okay, so he's fighting that war. He's doing that war. I think we get a little spicy here. I, I, do we just do the single county? I, I think it's what we have to do. We don't have Illustrious. We're not going to get Illustrious fast enough. Um, so I think we just do the single county. You guys agree with that? Which is the better county is a real question, though. There it is. Three, five, and five. Okay. What, what do you mean, not yet? We're going to go for this this one because it's also his domain. So I won't... Well, it won't matter. I'm conquering. I forgot. Oh, no dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Do you hate me? We're constantly going to war with you. No daughters yet. <laughs> May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. I don't know these names, so we're done. Also, sacred childbirth. What is this? Ancestor worship. Prestige from level of splendor for newborns. Plus 100%. Prestige from level of above when getting married. 100%. Maximum long reign bonus. 50%. Characters of faith gain an additional bonus upon the successful completion of a pilgrimage. I'm actually, I want to do a pilgrimage too. Dude, 100% Major Mula, right? Uh, Kudekis? Kudikis? Femti? Mothers are less likely to die. Children are less likely to... Oh, that's cool. Mothers and fathers gain piety when their child is born. Dude, makes pregnant a virtue? This is actually... I Dude, this is great. And what I think is we reform uh, vitaliz vitalism to become a... Um, I don't know the difference really between a, a reformed and unreformed um, pagan, but we stay pagan, is my point. Sanctity of nature here. Lovely. I like these. I like this one. This is good. Let me just go right back here. A deviant on the loose. Jesus Christ. As I retreat to my chambers for the night, I stumble upon one of my guests, Sarunas, in my innermost sanctum. <laughs> How did he get here? It's not what it looks like, my lord, he claims. The fact that he is half-naked in the process of bodily defiling my gilded sacred hymns tells me that is, in fact, exactly what it looks like. Unreformed can't... That's right, you can't... You can become a uh, feudal reformed faction, correct? Uh, I think you only need one side to reform it. Yes, Tom Wright, you do. Correct. Um, let me actually change the widget here. I just realized that my timing thing is not working properly. <sighs> Tipping? What is this? Oh, dude, we're gonna do. Multi we're, we're by the way, we're doing multi stream soon, so Twitch is gonna become a thing. Where's the fucking thingy here? Alert box, widgets, all widgets, all widgets. No, um, cloud bot. There it is. And I need timers, and we're gonna shut off this. Picked up the
There you go. So you can head on over to the Nexus store. I don't know when the the DLC will be up on the ne Nexus store. Is that a new mustache? Neat. Um, but... Uh, you can pre... Oh, it's, it's up there. Friends and Foes is up there. It's up there right now. Uh, Friends and Foes is up on the site, I think. Let me see. Maybe, maybe it says, oh, this is coming soon. Yeah, he said it'll be approved by Monday, so you can purchase it on Monday, but guys, it's $5. I get, I think, like, I, I, I get, like, 15% of it, so don't worry about Friends and Foes. If you do want to pre-order Victoria 3 and support the channel, you can use that site. I'm going to put up a Victoria 3 video next week just to kind of say, hey, the release date's this date, so on and so forth. Um, I'll be covering, I'll be going pretty hard in the paint on it. I'm trying to get, uh, fun with Paradox. I'm trying to have them do like a contract with me to do some content with them. Uh, Anrak, I don't think it does. Let's take a look right after this. You learn Deviant Secret, Leisure Court. How could you? To the dungeon with you. That'll not happen again. Never, I never realized you could do that. Tempting. You get Secret Deviant and you lose 110 stre stre uh, stress. No, I don't think I will become a Deviant. But maybe we'll just get some... I mean, I do love, I do love, I do love torturing people. Unless you can realize, you can molest a book. Well, yeah, Major Mula. That's why Victoria Three is going to be so fun. They're, like I, the the history you can jump into that is so. Not only is it so rich and fun, it's also very well documented. A lot of history in like eight sixty seven or ten sixty six is not as well documented, and a lot of it just kind of comes back to me talking about Romans and the fall apart, the fall of the Roman Empire, and how it led to certain portions of Western Europe. Most of the stuff that I'd like to go into in other portions of the world, there's it's not t particularly exciting in this game just yet. Okay, um, let's just imprison him. You sexual fucking deviants. Do you have any money? It takes money from you. Ugh. Can I torture him? Just torturing. Oh, for the dedication to your face. Don't do it, Estonia. I'll come over there and slap your ass. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even see this. I didn't see him coming down over there to do that. Oh, I might as well go. Uh, Visiting the local market, a merchant from a faraway land catches my attention. Come closer, my lord. Marvel at treasures never before seen in these lands. I had to blend into the populace to get these beauties. Truly a harrowing experience. This merchant might not might have more to give than the marvels of... Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm not losing money on this. I'm getting dread. Uh-oh. Oopsies. Sorry. Yes, hold him there so I can come and clean up. What made me finally want to leave a corporate career? One second, I'll tell you. Our champion, Gardenus, was maimed. No! No, brother. Don't be mommade. Uh, let me finish this. Oh, did I not finish this siege? Oh, we did, we did, we did. I think if we go take back our thing, we should be good. No, it's only minus 26. Oh, he captured my fucking air. I 
I have not tried Victoria yet. Oh, rocked right into me. My prisoner of has died in my dungeon. That's alright. Um, I actually not done any of the new events. Oh, got you. Got you so good. Wait. Oh, she died of old age? Why do I have a missing... Great, I found you a Russian wife. Be happy. Cool. She does not like me, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mila, it is. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, um... So let's take a look here. Uh, you will definitely give me that gold. You will... Is that your heir or anything? No, it's just a child. It's just a child. Go ransom me for that. Well, how much money do you have? Enough to ransom even yourself. Perfect. Okay, so do that. And I think... Thirty-seven. I think that we could do it across all these. I don't think I don't think Vicky will be a disappointment at all. Perfect. Then we'll get murder scheme power because you guys know how much of murdering. Okay. I think I think we just ransom him. What do you guys think? I think if we ransom him, we, we can still, we can still pull off a dub here. Yeah, I think so. Get that money, dude. Yeah. Do we, do we, is this even worth sieging again? Nah. It's almost done, though. Good. Done. Okay, well. Ooh, prisoners taken and siege. That's what I wanted to see. I, remember I just, just, just took her. Just took her ransom. Enforce the demands. Take it. Perfect. I think we still have people prisoner. Child of a concubine? How dare you. Perfect. My glory is widely known. As one would expect. Perfect. <laughs> Look at her. Like, yes. <laughs> Any better chancers nowadays? Nope. Okay. You want a council position? Do you know how many people I've killed already in this? Make you. We definitely need more champions, though. More people in general. Courtiers. Ooh, good stewardship. 
I mean, you might be worth it. For three gold? Done. Yeah, right? Lumina, you're like almost like you don't want friends anymore. You're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to have everyone kill me. Okay, so find him a spouse. Where's our giant? Yeah. Unmarried female uh, trait. Where's a. Inspiration, sexuality, artifact ownership. Where's traits? Congenital traits. Marry the giant to a dwarf. It's always a gamble in the end. That's yeah, that's a lot of shy, dude. One, two. I don't know. It kind of feels kind of funky to me. So we got hail. Not strong. No. Uh, what's above hail? Uh, what's another chain other than there's Herculean or let's just do it for Herculean first. Well, the Storians. Forty-three, thirty-four. Robust, that's it, okay. Well, she's 43, she's not likely to have kids. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Age of marriage, her and the giant. Now, yeah, okay, it's gotta be Hale. Um, I haven't noticed yet, Diego, because I haven't played enough of it. Oh my god, dude, look at that, look at that neck. She is gonna, dude, power children coming out just like, Hey, uh, what am I doing? What do I do with this neck? Good lord. Ow. Oh. Why not? Brock Lesnar in a wig. She's only one positive. I, I don't know why I can't get that one to go through. Damn. <clears throat> well. Um, also shy, though. Look how many shy characters there are right now. Shy. Does it, does it feel like... Are you guys looking at a lot more shy characters right now? Like, I feel like... All. Okay. All. I want. All. I want. All. I want. All. So there are... All characters. Right now. There are 26,000 characters. I'm going to type in shy. Okay, there's only 2,000. Let's just type in... Temperate. Yeah, let's, let's, there's more. Uh, Chris, this isn't for me. It's just for, that's just for my, my champion. Yeah, I know, but I don't find anyone worthwhile if I do it that way. <laughs> Stop projecting your characters in the game. <laughs> I must. You have truly made my night. Like, no one here has any good congenital traits. So, I guess I'm just going to have to choose. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, do we do that? Do we do a dwarf and giant together and kind of just see what happens? Kind of feel like that's going to be fun. I, I, I know that Illuminat 
was kidding, but I think I, think I gotta try it. I think it'd be very funny to have a whole country filled with, like, giant or dwarf. Oh, dude, Billy Chops, we gotta try it then. We gotta do it. Oh, she's 39. Good call. I know, you, I know you can filter for congenital, but you can't on the big screen, on the big C. Got to do this by age. Oof, Jesus. And you know what? I'm sorry, but... <laughs> They're not going to have kids, but I want to do it. I've got two giants? I know I can type in the traits in the search bar, sort of occur, but again, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that I'm going to marry, be able to marry them. Okay, I'm going to do one with the. I, I got. I'm doing one. With, I just. I want to do it. I'm going to do this. But he, on the hand, he's 36. Get him a younger wife. That's not chaste. Have you finished the Warhammer 3 DLC? Uh, I have not actually. I did not. I was going to do it with you guys, but I just. Didn't get around to doing it. No Craven, actually. The, why is there so many Cravens? What's up with the Craven and Shy characters all over this place? Look at the all these women are Craven. It's kind of wild to me. Okay, um, the real question is, my daughter, alliance power, anything worth it? No, nothing, nothing good. So, man, that's, that's rough too. So there's no one really that we can take advantage of here for the marriage. We'll just have to wait a little bit more on her, I think. Same thing with him. I don't think there's anyone with good congenital traits at a young enough age with him. This isn't bad, actually. Uh, Johnny Aldis, I think my favorite has still been uh, Apulia. Like, playing as the Normans is so fun. Why is this not creating an alliance? Shouldn't that create an alliance? Ah, oh, bastard. There we go. Oh, uh, Rainmar, are you still here? You asked why I left corporate, the corporate world, right? Yeah, I guess, but it's, it's you know, it's in a, it's a quick kid. It's a quick, 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 quick. Who did you play to start the Normans? I played Puglia. Dude, what? Okay, I thought I thought I saw something wild. Oh shit, guys! I just looked at the time. We have literally seven more minutes of stream time left. I hate this. I, I want, so I wanted to stream yesterday, and I could just stream for fucking ever. All right, I gotta pee really quick. Hold on. Oh my god.
Ah, uh, I got your DC. Um, yeah, we got five more minutes, so what I think I'll do here is... Let's go ahead and save this game. And we'll be back again on uh, Sunday to continue this stream. I do want to really... I want to chop into this one pretty hard. Um, oh, Little Pickles. My sir, we shall definitely be changing that very soon. Because we really only need to get... Um, we don't need to get much more to make... So once we get Illustrious, which is admittedly going to be quite a bit more fame, uh, we'll probably take apart like parts of Coronia as well. Coronia's got a pretty crazy history as well. Um, we'll be doing this, and this will give us the Kingdom of Livonia. Uh, we were wondering if this makes us feudal. It does not. Aiden Brady, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that, my dude. $5 donation swinging in from the guy. But this gives us long ships, so we'll be able to do a lot more raiding, which will be lovely. Um, we'll get the Kingdom of Livonia, which will have that, that, and that. Oh, we need, we need Coronia. So yeah, we'll, we'll just start eating more pieces of it away. It'll be very, very, very easy. In fact, I think, what was this again? This decision... Uh, I also want to do this one. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this. Okay, that, that, that. Okay, so we can actually do a war on Estonia for Ugandi here. Uh, Ugandi. And that'll put us, like... And dude, Estonia is so weak. Ooh, was so weak. We are not as strong. Well, we are strong, but Livonia is just getting torn apart right now. It's like shreds. Let's go through these donations and give some thank yous. Uh, someone asked why I left corporate America. Um, I guess just to be transparent, I was making, I was making a lot of money. I was a VP of sales at a tech company, uh, software sales, and I was I was enterprise level sales. So. I had clients like Samsung, Dropbox. I don't even remember a lot of my, I, you know, like people think of these like, oh yeah, we've got uh, these Fortune 500 companies. There are a lot of non Fortune 500 companies that are fucking huge that no one ever thinks about or talks about. Like, like we had one client that just would spend tons of money on licensing and he was massive. Um, but yeah, I was making like six figures, making a lot of money, and I was miserable. I was spending all of that money. I was basically making, let's just say, $200,000. I wasn't. And I was spending $250,000. No, I wasn't. I was spending like $210,000. I was spending just above my means because I was so miserable, I was trying to fill a void. And by filling that void with spending, that really didn't do anything for me. It actually made me more miserable. So... I wanted to get in the gaming industry and I felt like I was so barred because no one no one hires salespeople for the gaming industry. So I chained I told my I essentially told my boss, like, hey, I'm listening, I'm miserable. And he was a really cool boss about it, and he allowed me to stay on part-time, but he paid me my salary without benefits. So basically he made me a 1099 employee. Um so I got to stay there, make money while I kind of switched to doing YouTube because I was doing YouTube as a hobby and I was trying to make it more of a part-time to eventually full-time thing. And we changed my title from VP of sales to senior marketing manager so that I could apply to marketing jobs because I was, as a VP of sales, I wasn't just doing sales. I was doing marketing and sales and I have a background in internet marketing. So I used that to apply to jobs and I use my YouTube channel as like a bit of a resume too. Like, hey, you know, here's what I've done with just my YouTube content. And that, that's a big thing for a gaming industry. But that wasn't really getting me anywhere. So I, I went full time this YouTube. And I've done a contract work with the video game industry, which counts as shipping a AAA title. And I've done a stuff with, with Creative Assembly, which is a AAA house, development house. So now if I go to apply to any company, chances are I probably would get a job there. 
Like if I said like, hey, you know, I'm applying to your company for your community management, your content creation management, whatever, whatever kind of like content team or community management team, I could probably be a part of it very easily now. That was the whole point of doing this. So I have that now as a fallback. But let me give some thank yous here. I got to get going. I got to get uh, to my appointment. But we'll be back here on Sunday with more of the Crusader Kings 3 stream. Let's go ahead and roll those credits. Let's go ahead and give those thank yous out. Again, the, the, the biggest thank you, of course, goes to Ot3 with a $100 donation. That is so girthy. Thank you so much, man. Guys, in general, you've just been so so generous today. So thank you very, 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 very fucking much, guys. Um, Pedro with the 50 Argentinian, I think it is. Uh, Timeless Chronicles and Flesson for renewing their memberships. Eli with a $35 donation. DC with a 20 pound donation. Yeah, 20 pound donation. E is the euro. Ten, or Timeless Chronicles again with a $10 donation. McAven Price with a $5 donation. And then Aiden Brady Pop with a $5 donation as well. Thank you guys all very, 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 very much, man. Like, like I've said, this is my full time gig. This is my full time job. Let's give him a good mountain man beard. Um, so I very much appreciate it. Absolutely fight some. I'm glad you enjoy it, my man. That beard tightened up, bro. Take care. You too, Guinness. Billy Chops, have a good one. We'll see you guys on Sunday. We'll be just be continuing the stream. We'll be jumping right back into um, our Lithuania stream, and I'll be talking about the Northern Crusade probably. It depends on how much time I'll have to get the notes together. Yeah, ho hopefully, DC. Hopefully, man. You too, Fless, and have a good one. And everyone, please, in general, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Take care. That's usually the cadence in which I say it all. All right, everybody, again, wash your hands, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you bros on Sunday for some more Lithuania.